In this video, I'm going to continue with my exploration of Midjourney, one of the the most popular AI art generation tools that's creating a lot of buzz and folks are quite interested to find out. Now, there is this other video that I created earlier that covers some of the basics and I'll have a link to that to that video so that you can always go back if this is your first time using Midjourney, then you, you're better off to look at that video first before you come in. Because here I'm going to try and show you a few of the neat tools that I came across that you can use for free to generate advanced prompts that you can issue and generate creative designs and photos and arts through Midjourney. So stick around. All right, so the first prompt generator for Midjourney that I wanted to share with you is the Midjourney prompt generator by Hugging Face. Now, Hugging Face is actually a well-known entity in the space of artificial intelligence. They do have reach in many different areas of AI, but this is something neat that they created. And the, the way this Midjourney prompt generator works, it... I believe scrapes some 250,000 data sets per month directly from Midjourney, from issued commands by many different users. And then what's also neat about this prompt generator, it can autocomplete. So in case of an incomplete description, it can autocomplete and it can come back with a whole bunch of suggestions here. So I was actually playing with it earlier. So let's just clear up and list it from scratch again so you get to see. So when you first come in, and again, I'll have the link in description below along with any other ones that I cover here. Now, there is no registration required and it is free. And when you first come in through the link, you're offered an option here to provide in basic English the text that you want to use. So for example, we can type in saying Justin Bieber singing in front of a large crowd of aliens. Leave it at that. And then click on submit. On the right hand side where it says generated text is where you get to see the results generated by this prompt generator. Now it usually comes back with multiple options here. So at that point, it's entirely up to you which one you want to use. But the first one that we see, it says Justin Bieber singing in front of a large crowd of aliens at midnight, realistic, and it does provide an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. Now, I like hyper-realistic. So let's look at the some of the other ones here. I see that there is the second one here says, or the third one, Justin Bieber singing in front of a large crowd of aliens and aliens, hyper-realistic. Now, we can use that one or we can use any one of the ones from here. Let's say I want to take this third one. So all you have to do is just copy that at that point. So I don't believe they have a copy option here. So what you do, you highlight that and you can copy it. Now I do have Discord Midjourney open. So let's just go straight in there. And I'm just going to type in imagine. And then this is where I type in the prompt by pasting it, control V and just enter. Let's see what we get. So it's starting up to generate that photo. And I think it takes a few seconds for it to show up here, as we have seen before. Don't see mine here yet. Let's just scroll up a little bit to see if it's coming back. There we go. So Justin Bieber singing in front of a large crowd of aliens, hyper realistic. So it's coming back with, with some options here. It has rendered 62 percent so far. So once it's done, rendering 100 percent then as you probably know from my other video the intro video that i created and i'll have a link one more time so that you can refer back to that in case you're coming in for the first time but if i scroll back down here okay there it is 
at that point you can you can select select whichever one you like i kind of like this uh this one here you can see the aliens clearly so you can just go in here and you can select uh or from here you can select that you want to go a bit in advance for the third one so you can go upscale in it to to a clear version so it will take that command and it will take it from there so i'm not going to get into how to upscale or how to generate variations of that i'm going to keep my focus on the prompts that we are going to generate by using various tools so i i think it's pretty neat uh, this hugging face mid journey is actually a really good option for you to to generate advanced prompts and by the way every time you try and if we try it again let's see we might get a different set of prompts that you can use from see now there is another prompt here that it generated so you can go and select any one of them justin bieber singing in front of a large crowd of aliens on foot hyper realism 8k photorealistic 3d render aspect ratio of 5 by 4. so let's take that one just out of curiosity and we can do that we can just go back and type in imagine again to bring the prompt and then from there we can just go copy paste and enter so now it will take its time by the way this is the one that that got upscaled or it will need to be upscaled here at this point so you can upscale it here so that's the first one that i i wanted to show you and see there is this other one that's coming back and this time it's going to generate the hyper realistic one looks pretty decent so that's that so that's the second one now the second one that i wanted to share with you the second mid journey prompt generator it's called mid journey prompt helper by noonshot and when you first come in you have an option between mid journey and dali so obviously we're going to focus in generating prompts for mid journey useful prompts for mid journey so that's the one we select and let's say this is where you type in your generic description so let's say i type in and i'm just going to paste this time an elated man immersed surrounded by curious aliens so that's our generic description what's neat about this tool now you have multiple options so for each one of these you get to pick and choose what option you'd like to go with for this prompt so let's say we start with styles when you click on styles you are given a whole bunch of options here and you can pick and choose from there and in case you know what you want let's say i want something that's got to do with realistic so we can go realistic or photorealistic so we can just select that one and that's all you have to do and click on continue so that's selected that's already there as you can see is flagged with one that's what we selected and by the way we can select more than one then you can go through each one of these options here you don't necessarily have to select each and every single one but that option is there so for example here let's say i want to make it in terms of lighting i want to select accent lighting just to test it out so click continue now the camera i'm going to say i'm just going to go dslr option here an artist i'm just going to select you can go with any one of them that you know let's say i want to go with andy warhol that's an option here right on top so i don't have to search for him so just say continue and you have the choice for color you can select any one of them i'm just going to select amber for now for this example and you can go through all of the other options here too so material i'm just going to leave out so it's not necessary that you must select all of them for the size you have a few options here you can go aspect ratio so you can go 9 by 16 which is more like an instagram size i guess or you can go 16 by 9 which is a standard hd so let's just select 16 by 9 by the way as we are selecting our options here along with our description you'll notice right 
below it starts creating your prompt so everything that we have we have entered so far they're all in here right now so that's something that we'll copy as soon as we are done as soon as we're done with that entire command so depth i'm just gonna leave it to the default quality i'm just not going to touch it stylize uh, there are a few options there i'm not too familiar with any of the options so i'm not even going to touch so let's just say this this is our final final command that we want to copy so what's neat with this tool now that you have made all your selections along with your description it has generated that that mid journey prompt so you can just simply copy from here and you notice that it also has the imagine prompt embedded into the generated command so that's neat you have less work to do so if we go back in discord and i have copied the prompt so all i have to do is just paste it so let's see if it takes mine now now it's starting now it's taking my request and it's going through rendering my my request to a person done for the moment so again mine is highlighted with yellow bar right next to it and i can see it's rendering it right now curious to see how it turns out wow look at that it's 68 percent done but i can already see that there are some neat ones that mid journey is generating for me which is great all right looks like mine must be done by now so let's just scroll down there you go this is how it looks and the only thing is you can play with it but it seems like i'm not seeing any of the aliens here i can see vaguely some in the background some aliens perhaps but this is how it looks so the idea is you can do you can generate commands very easily using this command generator the mid journey prompt helper so that's another option for you all right so the third and final one i wanted to share with you is called the fraser and the link will be in the description for this one i had to quickly register i just needed my email address and had to create a password and that's all i needed it took me less than a minute then once i'm in i'm given a few choices to select from dolly 2 is there along with me journey and stable diffusion etc so obviously i selected me journey so after that you you are given a few choices and you're taken through a few steps so the first one is what kind of what kind of photo or drawing are you trying to generate is that a drawing or a photo or a sketch so let's say we want to select a drawing then you have to provide with a basic description just with the other tools okay so let's say a barrel sitting next to a pond watching butterflies okay. so we can do that and then it usually shows a few pictures that are similar on the side but that for our purposes is irrelevant so we just go next now here uh, the next thing is to select the style you can select many different from many different options here and let's just say i'm going to select let's see what options are there so we can select i thought there was uh one for okay there we go vincent van gogh so we selected that now you can select multicolor here for color then next the texture so once again there are many options here and the one i wanted to select let's see it should be here somewhere let's just say watercolor there we go so we selected that resolution we can go 4k that's great now this is where you can add 
the type of feeling or the mood that you want to include in your prompt. So there are many different options given here. You can just go amusement if you want. What era that you want to select this, this painting for. So you can go and select modern world. So now, here you go. Your prompt is generated. Multicolor drawing made of watercolor texture of a girl sitting next to a pond. Watching butterflies by Vincent van Gogh created at modern world in 4K ultra high resolution with feeling of amusement. Amazing. So all you have to do in that case is copy text and go to mid journey and it will take you right back into mid journey. And then we can simply paste what we want to create. So we just go back in here, hit imagine and then paste. That should work. Imagine prompt and then you just paste. That should do it. It has selected or it has taken my request and it's just working through it. And let's see how it turns out. Multicolor drawing made of watercolor. So let's see. Again, your, your request is highlighted with a yellow bar on the left. And it looks like it's almost 50% done. Amazing. This is great. I'm really liking it. Look at that. 81%, but it's already looking so nice. And it is watercolor texture. Van Gogh style. This is amazing. This has to be great. All right, so mine got lost here again. Let's just go down and I see mine. That's great. And you can take it from there. You can upscale it or you can create variations of that. So that's another option for you. I hope this tool, along with the other two tools that I shared with you, all of the mid journey prompt generators assist you and you can get a jump start with all of these commands that you may see the first time you come into mid journey. You see folks coming up with those advanced commands. Now you know how you can easily generate some of those commands. And I hope that helps you as you start playing with Mid Journey and you start creating your own photos or arts. And thank you for watching.